I guess you're supposed to feel sad about it, but I don't. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to my Dayton Dissects of Highlands. Highlands is a turn-based strategy set on a series of floating islands. The royal family in this world apparently has quite a set of cojones, as they're on the front line with their troops the entire time. You can recruit new fodder and taverns littered around the map, and there are a multitude of classes. Leaders capture resource points, engineers can craft weapons and armor, as well as for fortifying your points, combatants are the meat shields, and academics keep the meat on their feet. <laughs> Enemy robots and warlords will consistently advance on your positions. Luckily, enemies can only move through your areas one at a time, uh, but they do spawn friends every nine turns on normal mode, which keeps the pressure on. There have been multiple situations where I screwed around too long recapturing points only to meet an almost insurmountable force at the end of the level. Trying to keep a decent pace while not missing out on valuable resources is a delicate dance, and as with most dances, I generally fail pretty miserably. Leadership is used to recruit troops, food is used as upkeep as well as to heal troops, and scrap is used in every sort of crafting imaginable. Gearing up your troops with weapons and armor increases their fighting ability, but all the skill in the world won't save your characters from permadeath at the hands of an unlucky dice roll. I've taken a couple characters through multiple levels, only to be forced to sacrifice them in the name of the royal family. Pity. Random events do ensure that no game plays out exactly the same, but this, along with some nice writing and visuals, don't really motivate me enough to give the game a second playthrough. It has a very cool board game aesthetic, uh, and I am quite glad that I experienced it, but I don't think I'll be sitting down to trek through it again for at least a good while. So, here's my score breakdown. I think it's a pretty simple game for how complex it is, which is the opposite of what I usually review. Uh, for the controls, I've decided to give it a 6 out of 10. Uh, it's workable. A lot of it is point and click, which is really kind of grating <laughs> to me. Um, but it, it gets the job done at a 6 out of 10. The fun factor I've given a 7 out of 10. It can be a bit frustrating when you have enemies advancing on you from multiple points and just not enough uh, characters to hold them off. You can fortify and try and heal up, but sometimes you're not able to heal in time. And it, it sucks, especially because if you lose a member of the royal family, you can reload the save until you get a good dice roll, but sometimes... That can take quite a while, which knocks the fun factor down just a bit. The difficulty is definitely a 10 out of 10. Even on normal mode, you will be pushed to your limits. I dare not try the, uh, the hard or extreme difficulties. Um, easy mode is relatively easy, I suppose, but I, really I think a strategy game like this needs to uh, have some strategy and not just have you steamroll your enemies. So. Normal mode, definitely the way to go. Um, it presents a good challenge without being too impossible. Replayability, I've given a 3 out of 10. It's an okay game. There are some nice visuals and writing. Uh, the story's pretty good. However, the story plays out the same every time, with the exception of the random events, which doesn't really hook me. Uh, if I enjoyed strategy games more, I probably would be back to it, but as it stands, I was kind of hooked into it more for the board game, uh, aesthetic than the strategy gameplay. So, 3 out of 10 for replayability. Innovation, I've given a 7 out of 10. There have been a lot of strategy games similar to this, but none with such a focus on resources as this one. Uh, troop positions are extremely important. You can move troops through your entire battlegrounds, uh, all the areas that you own, but you can only advance into the enemy's areas one at a time, which presents an interesting uh, dynamic. The graphics I've given an 8 out of 10, they are extremely well drawn, however they do not move, there is not much animation, which kind of fix, fits in with the board game aesthetic, so I suppose it's acceptable. However, um, they look the same 
whether their father's dead or they just won a battle, and it would just be nice to see at least a couple different animations on the characters. The music I've given a 9 out of 10. It is pretty consistent the entire time. It keeps up a nice a nice pace. It, it rides a fine line between like relaxing and also kind of a war chant. It's, it's pretty cool music, and I've given it a 9 out of 10. The sound effects, uh, hack and slash, back and forth, it's 7 out of 10. It's, it's about what you'd expect. The story is a 9 out of 10. I rather enjoyed the uh, couple of twists that they threw in along the way, which I will not spoil here. However, um, some relationships are not as developed as they should be. Like, you meet the father during the tutorial, and he dies, and I guess you're supposed to feel sad about it. But I don't, because I, I had him for, like, two, two combat turns. It's, it, it's not enough to establish a relationship. I'm sure he was a good dad. He was a good king. But uh, I don't know any of that. He just kind of got his shit handed to him on a bridge, and that's all I know about him. Still, 9 out of 10 for the story. Level design is a 6 out of 10. Um, I don't know how much else they could do with it. Some of the sectors seem a lot bigger than others, and it's it's divided up a little wonkily. And I do like uh, certain choke points and things like that, but there are not enough of them to make it like supremely strategic because you could just get pinched from the other side and stuff like that. So I really did enjoy Highlands as a game. Um, I've decided to give it a 72 out of 100, which is a pretty respectable score, and if you guys did enjoy this review, I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Highlands. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends